All right, man, we're going to talk about Julio Jones and rumors of him pairing up with Lamar Jackson out there in Baltimore and why they can't make the dra- trade right now um, uh, to the Falcons to Baltimore for Julio. But let's talk about Caleb Farley first. Apparently, Caleb Farley has tested positive for COVID, I'm guessing. Well, I know he was trying to attend the draft, which he one of those players that can fall. But let's talk about Caleb Farley testing positive and being asymptomatic. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Check out the NFL playlist. But Adam Scheffner says, uh, Virginia Tech's cornerback Caleb Farley tested positive for COVID Tuesday and will not attend the draft. In Cleveland, fortunately, he is completely asymptomatic and feels totally normal. And his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, he will be watching the draft at home in North Carolina while in quarantine. So I'm not sure if they're going to have a camera in his house or give him a camera and be by himself. So, um, you know, but he has a video, you know, and uh, he's saying that, I'm not going to let anything ruin this week for me, Virginia Tech. Cornerback Kayla Farley on uh, his unfortunate COVID diagnosis. So we had him going in the first round, I believe, yesterday. Um, I think we had him going in the first round. Um, not completely sure, but I could pull it up, man. But, yeah, it's, you know, what's up with him is he probably might be the best, end up being the best corner in the league. Um but, you know, last year he missed, he opted out, you know, not to get COVID. Um, you know, um, he opted out and then he got injured, you know, during the off season. So, you know, he didn't play last year. He got injured last year. <laughs> and um, it just didn't really bode well for him at all. But, uh, you know, so he might fall just because he didn't play last year. He got injured last year. Um and it just was it just was a totally mess for him. You know, especially now you're topping off with him getting COVID. To me, it's just like, man. You know, but uh and we had him going to the Bears yesterday, man. So make sure you check out the mock draft. I'll put it in the end screen, but it was the last video we did yesterday. But um be yeah, I like him, rock. Remind you kind of uh Jalen Ramsey height, athleticism, um, Straight line speed. Eventually, he can probably go ahead and uh, make the adjustment to corner to safety as well too, like Rod Wilson, Charles Wilson, a lot of other guys. But um, definitely a steal. You know, anytime you can be compared to Jalen Ramsey, if he 80, 90 percent of what Jalen Ramsey is, 70, 60 percent, I think whoever you go to would be good. But he may slide just because of not playing last year, getting injured in the off season. All right, um, you know. And then catching COVID. So, you know, I really don't see him getting past the Saints. You know, or even, the, you know, the Green Bay Packers. But, you know, he has that type of ability, great ball skills. You know, if he could be like uh, Jalen Ramsey, I think, man, he might have a great future in this league. I think we all agree. But let's move on to Julio Jones and Lamar Jackson. There's been some rumors talking about that, um, that you know, they can pair up. Now, why Julio can't get traded right now? It's simply because there's a roster bonus or roster issue. He can't get traded till after um after June first, all right? Or I think it's June first, so he can't be traded till after May first or June first or something like that. So the GM that came from New Orleans, uh, Terry Fanta, says Falcons will listen to uh, Julio Jones' offer um, as they would for any player. So Julio, 32 years old, um, they kind of in the rebuild. Um. And uh, really, really, I think for Lamar Jackson, this would be good. But I still would take, you know, for them, I still would take a guy like Cardavius, Tony, Terrence Marshall, you know, give them two big receivers and allow Hollywood to work in the slot. And I think if you can walk away with Terrence Marshall this draft for them and they can walk away with Julio Jones sometime in the offseason whenever he's able to get traded, I think it's good for him. You know, Julio is a big receiver, athletic, can get down the field. And with those bigger receivers, a lot of people – don't know. They get beat up quicker. Smaller receivers usually last last more. The biggest receivers, it's a lot of body to hit, you know. And then they legs get tore up, and they you know they just get tore up with all them limbs. But you get Lamar, this type of guy. You add a Terrence Marshall, they easily gonna be better next year. Especially when you telling me now, we get we getting away from the um the um uh, what's his name um the Willie Sneeds. We getting away from um you know the Marquise Hollywood brother, shorter receiver, getting big body receiver. And I know. Plexico Burris was kind of mad when they got rid of um, Plexico Burris, and eventually they bought Martavius Bryant over. You know, they do from Canada, Claypool, 
Um, so, you know, big receivers help. And Lamar Jackson is in love with throwing to Mark Andrews. So, you know, why not give him two big receivers on the outside, let Willie Sneed and Marquise Jackson work the slot? And I think it'll work for him. You know, I think Ozzie Newsom last year, he passed up on DK Metcalf as well, too. So, I think, you know, for for their for they sake, get Lamar Julio, you know, get him Terrence, uh, Terrence Marshall, you know, two guys who have to get up in the field and who can stretch the field, and I think they'd be all right. But also, you know, also Lamar Jackson got to improve with throwing intermediate, throwing the crosses, throwing the drags, throwing the outs, the timing patterns to come back. So once he do that, and which I think he can do it, man, we see the accuracy down the field. Once he could throw, he could throw intermediate and short. I think, you know, also would have benefited them too is a screen ga- game uh, from the running backs to tight ends to the jailbreak screens to the receivers to the bubble screens, you know, to the to the um, the double crossing routes, you know, the uh, the double drags. I mean, just drags going, you know, I think kind of the shallow crossing routes, deep crossing routes, the drags. I think they need to change their offense and really get them going in a short right short short game with their running game and a short game. They get a lot of explosive plays and then they can progress. They can progress to um to the middle game, you know, the digs, the the outs, the ends, you know, all that type of stuff. You know, so he could throw the post route over the middle. He can throw the, the fly routes. You know, now we got to get him throwing corners, uh, well, corners and short, short. So I really, with, with, with Lamar, I really would go short with him. Screens, bubble screens, drags, shallow crossing routes, you know, slants. I would kind of go short with him and then the deep game. And then eventually, you know, eventually we will, we will work on the ends. The, the the crossing routes, the shallow crossing routes, the drags. Or well, excuse me, the shallow crossing routes, the digs, the outs. Yeah, that's what I would do with him. But Julio would really open it up, you know, because he could do it all. He can go deep. He can go in. And the beautiful thing about getting Terrence Marshall, when Julio need a blow, you got Marshall who's going to learn out of Julio and get better. That would be huge for them. Also, you got a guy like Odell Beckham. That will work for them. But I think he need a big target, you know what I'm saying? And I'm surprised they didn't really think about Antonio Brown. But they had they had enough Brown with Hollywood Brown crying over there about the ball last year. So, you know, I do think uh Julio would be a great fit. I think Odell would be a good fit over there. Um surprised they didn't go out, you know, Juju Smith turning down a lot of the players they want to play with him. Cause they don't think Lamar can get in the ball, but I think he can, you know. So I think Lamar and Julio will be with the brothers and Lamar Jackson supporters when asked for him. Hopefully they win the Super Bowl, because I like both of them. But hey, check out the NFL playlist. Let me know what you think about the Kelly Farley shit. Kelly Farley situation with the COVID. Let me know what you think about Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. The link to being able to trade for Julio Jones. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Links in the description. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, if you video, video request. Want to make a donation? Cash App, CJ Good313. Description, PayPal, description as well, too. Appreciate the love support. Once again.